Utah gets a big win. You know, lost a teammate. They go into USC and dominate 42 to 26 in this one and it wasn't even close the they, they were up 35 to 10 i think it was at one point i'm trying yeah, to yeah they dominated the, the numbers game. i mean just it, it just dominated it, it was not even close it, you know it, usc did put up a bunch of yards 493 yards to 486 for uh for utah but but 401 of that 493 was passing they they ran the ball 25 times for 92 yards 3.7 a clip had Eight penalties for 90 yards, had one turnover. Like, USC could not get out of their own way in this game. Rising and Lloyd, baby, for the Utes, said Larry. Yes, this was, like, Cam Rising, 22 out of 28, 306 yards, three touchdowns. Thomas had 16 carries for 113 uh, yards and one touchdown, excuse me. And this is, it's like Utah got everything fixed, right? It, they, sure. they had their bye week, they switched their quarterback, and they come back out, and now, like, I cannot wait to see Utah and Arizona State play. I think this is going to be a fascinating game later on in the schedule. But Utah has played significantly better since the loss to San Diego State. And even in the second half against San Diego State, for them to be able to get that game into overtime was, I mean, awesome. Just awesome. Uh, By the way, the Arizona State game is this week. So... We'll see. Well, Arizona State looks good too right now, so that's going to be an unbelievable matchup. You're talking about two two teams that it's a know, late game. Didn't look great. Is that Pac-12 after dark, or is it just like a six o'clock kick, seven o'clock? No, uh, nine p.m. Central Time. Yeah, a boy. Yeah, that's what so I was hoping for. Pac-12 after dark. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm wondering, did Game Day decide that they're going to have they announced? I hope they hadn't announced anything yet. yet. That's it. They are getting later and later with these. I don't know where they're going to go next week. I, I figured they'd probably do Cincinnati, but either way, uh, I'll put out a video about that. But that's that would be my guess, Cincinnati and, and UCF, just to give Cincy some love. Larry said, going to be a great game. It's for the South. Yes, it is for the South. You're 100% right. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.